types of research what are the different types of research let's discuss descriptive versus analytical descriptive research consists of surveys and fact finding inquiries of different types the main objective of descriptive research is describing the stage of affairs as it provides at the time of study the term ex post facto research is quite often used for descriptive research studies in social sciences and business research the most distinguishing feature of this method is that the researcher has no control over the variables here he or she has to only report what is happening or what has happened applied versus fundamental research can also be applied or fundamental in nature an attempt to find a solution to an immediate problem encountered by a firm an industry a business organization or the society is known as applied research researchers engage in such researches aim at drawing certain conclusion confronting a concrete social or business problem then quantitative versus qualitative Quantitative research relates to aspect that can be quantified or can be expressed in terms of quantity. It involves the measurement of quantity or amount. Various available statistical and econometrical methods are adopted for analysis in such research, which includes correlation, regression, and time series analysis, etc. Conceptual versus empirical The research related to some abstract idea or theory is known as conceptual research. Generally, philosophers and thinkers use it for developing new concept or for reinterpreting the existing ones. Empirical research on the other hand exclusively relies on the observation or experience with hardly any regard of theory and system. Such research is database which often comes up with conclusion that can be verified through experiments or observation. Empirical research is also known as experimental type of research in which it is important to first collect the facts and their sources and actively take steps to stimulate the production of desired information. In this type of research, the researcher first formulates a working hypothesis and then gathered sufficient facts to improve or disprove the stated hypothesis he or she formulates the experimental design which according to him or her would manipulate the variables so as to obtain desired information this type of research is thus characterized by the researcher's control over the variables under study in simple terms empirical research is most appropriate when an attempt is made to prove that certain variables influence the other variables in some way therefore the results obtained by using the experimental or empirical studies are considered to be the most powerful evidence for a given hypothesis let's discuss about other types of research The remaining type of research are variations of one or more of the aforementioned type of research. They vary in terms of purpose of research or the time required to complete it or maybe based on some other similar factor. On the basis of time, research may be either in the nature of one time or one time or longitudinal time series research. While the research is restricted to a single time period in the former case, it is conducted over several time periods in later case. depending upon the environment in which the research is to be conducted it can also be laboratory research or field setting research or simulation research besides being diagnostic or clinical in nature and as such research in depth approaches or case study method may be employed to analyze the basic causal relation these studies usually undertake a detailed in depth analysis of the causes of certain events of interest and use very small samples and sharp data collection methods the research may also be explanatory in nature formalized research study consists of substantial structure and specific hypothesis to be verified as regards to historical research sources sources like historical documents remains etc are utilized to study past events or ideas it also includes philosophy of persons and group of past or any remote point of time thank you